From deadly reptiles and mammals to tarantulas taking over towns, here are 12 of the most bizarre animal mysteries ever. Number 12. The Hodag This animal has a reputation as a fearsome critter and is said to have been discovered in the city of Rhinelander, Wisconsin back in the late 19th century. It supposedly had a mashup of features including a frog's head, the face of a giant elephant, huge claws and a long tail with spears at the end of it. The monster proved so tough that when a group of people showed up to capture it, they had to use dynamite and ended up killing it. A picture was released to newspapers showing a group of people standing about the charred remains of the animal. Number 11. Marine Mammal Mystery in 2015, a mass die-off of seabirds, MERS, occurred in Alaska, when tens of thousands of them appeared on Alaskan shores. A few months later, 30 whales stranded themselves on those shores, with most of them dying in the Kodiak Archipelago. Among them were fin whales and humpback whales. Cause of death was initially determined to be poisoning from toxic algae, but experts found no conclusive evidence of that. They noted that the 30 deaths amounted to nearly three times the historic average, and because several whale carcasses were spotted floating beyond retrieval, or were preyed upon by scavengers, there were likely many more animal deaths that went unreported. It was believed that all the marine mammals died at the same time. So far, the mystery of the whale's death is still unsolved, but the mystery of the seabird's demise was later sussed out. Scientists say that warm ocean temperatures drove off the fish they preyed upon. Without their food source, the birds starved to death. Number 10. Cabots According to scientists, the hybrid offspring of a cat and a rabbit is an impossibility. Yet there have been numerous alleged sightings of creatures that appear to possess the traits of both species. Cabots were first documented in Galloway, Scotland during the mid-19th century by a man named Joseph Train. But according to experts, Mr. Train was actually describing a Manx cat. Those animals are known for being tailless due to a naturally occurring mutation, which can also affect the way they walk. Their hind legs are longer than their front legs, so the cats can exhibit a rabbit-like hopping motion when they walk. Even though genetics argues against a cat-rabbit hybrid, there are plenty of people who are convinced that cabots really do exist. What do you think? Number 9. The Mysterious Mam Lambo Here's a beast from South Africa that allegedly has the head of a horse, the neck of a snake, and a fish-like body with short legs. In the dark, it shines with a greenish light. Villagers in the country's Eastern Cape province claimed that it was a reptilian animal that measured some 67 feet, that's 20 meters. While Mamlambo refers to a deity in South African and Zulu mythology, this creature was very real. In 1997, it reportedly mutilated and killed at least nine people in a manner that inspired its nickname, the Brain Sucker. Number 8. The Overtown Bridge Mystery This structure is located in Scotland, where it was completed in 1895. It's been the site of murder and attempted suicide, and over the years it has been connected to supernatural phenomena, including ghosts. But it gained worldwide notoriety starting in 2015. That's when stories about dogs leaping off the bridge to kill themselves began circulating online. The canines were said to become agitated before they jumped up the bridge and fell to their death on the rocks about 50 feet, 15 meters below. Not surprisingly, many people link this behaviour to paranormal activity. But animal experts theorise that one end of the bridge harbours nests of squirrels, mice and minks which emit a scent that dogs can detect. When they run towards the nest, they jump up the tapered bridge wall and topple over. That theory is disputed by hunters who have lived there for 50 years. They claim that no such nests can be found in the area. Animal behaviourists still don't have a definite answer for this mystery. But if you walk your dog on that bridge, be sure to use a leash. Number 7. Godzillas It's not often when paleontologists can't determine whether a fossil is a plant or an animal, but that's the case with a unique specimen located in northern Kentucky in 2011. Tentatively named Godzillas, the fossil weighs about 150 pounds, 70 kilograms, and measures 6.5 feet long, that's 2 meters, and 3.5 feet wide, or more than 1 meter. It looks more like a collection of stepping stones made out of concrete than it resembles a plant or animal. Dated to 450 million years, the only thing experts know for sure is that it isn't a fish. For now, this specimen remains a mystery to science. Number 6. The Eyeless Fish Mysteries We use the plural for mystery because this bizarre event occurred twice, and in the same location. In 2011, thousands of dead snapperfish washed ashore on the Coromandel Peninsula of New Zealand. A great number of them had no eyes. 
Wildlife authorities investigated the incident, but no official explanation was ever issued. But according to some sources, an early statement indicated a belief that the behaviour was deliberate. Nearly two years later, the same event occurred again at the very same beach. Thousands of the snappers displayed odd wounds around their bodies. Authorities did release a finding this time, claiming that the animals arrived as the result of an illegal fishing boat that was hauling a broken net. But there was no indication as to how, or if, the two incidents were connected. Number 5. The Malawi Terror Beast the Republic of Malawi is a country in Southeast Africa. In 2003, a strange wild animal killed at least three people and severely injured 16 others in a mountain village. The beast was said to crush the bones of its victims and eviscerate the bodies. Locals described it as a large canine creature. A year later, another mystery beast maimed more than 20 people and killed five before game rangers shot it. That animal was identified as a rabid hyena, but many residents disagreed. They claimed the attacking animal was much larger and had longer hind limbs than a hyena. The so-called terror beast of 2003 was also speculated to be a rabid hyena, but its identity will probably remain a mystery because it was never found. Number 4. The Skunk Ape Situation this beast has often been called Florida's version of Bigfoot. It appeared in Dade County during the 1960s and 70s. According to police reports, it was covered in light brown hair, stood around 7 feet tall and weighed more than 400 pounds. One big difference is that this creature exuded a vile funk, described as a blend of rotten eggs and manure. That inspired its nickname. The creature disappeared after an initial flurry of sightings, but in the year 2000, alleged photos of the beast were received by the Sarasota County Sheriff's Department from an anonymous source. They depicted a strange, shaggy creature lurking in the shadows and obscured by plants. In a letter accompanying the photos, the anonymous photographer claimed it was an orangutan that entered their backyard to take apples from the porch. If so, then that would present a new mystery. Just how did an orangutan get loose in the Sunshine State? If you think the skunk ape could have been a great ape, let us know in the comments. Number 3. A Foul Mystery You might be familiar with the idiom, running around like a headless chicken. It applies to somebody who is behaving in a frantic or haphazard way. That's a reference to how a chicken's body will spasm and twitch in reflex to having its head removed. In 1945, the idiom became a fact with a bird named Miracle Mike. After Mike's owner made an unsuccessful attempt to behead him, the body remained active for another 18 months. Mike was documented to walk unsteadily and could even emit a crowing sound. He was kept alive with a mixture of milk, water and grains that was administered through an eyedropper. As news of the bizarre bird spread, Mike became a hugely successful sideshow attraction and was pulling in more than $4,500 each month. Adjusted for inflation, that would be more than $50,000 a month. The critter passed away in 1947. How did Mike survive so long without a head? Some experts say that enough of his brainstem remained to control his basic body functions. Some other sources claim it was all sheer luck. What do you think? Number 2. The Cat Fox Mystery these critters are found on the Mediterranean island of Corsica, where they have long been a part of local mythology. They're not a felid canid hybrid though. The animals get their common name due to factors including their size. At around 35 inches, 90 centimeters long, they're about the size of a large domestic cat. They have wide ears, dog-like teeth, and can have up to four rings on their black-tipped tail. The densely furred animals live in the forests and have been the focus of wildlife biologists since one was first caught in 2008. Despite all the research, there's still a lot of mystery surrounding this beast. That includes how they first arrived on Corsica. Some experts think they might have been brought there by farmers as long ago as 6500 BC. But one thing is for certain, the animals were recognised as a new species in 2019. Number 1. Aussie Arachnid Attack what caused a horrifying plague of venomous spiders to strike the Northern Territory of Australia? That hyperbolic question was asked by various news sources regarding this incident in 2015. Locals in the small town of Maningrida reported an invasion of more than 25,000 tarantulas. Those are especially scary numbers considering that about 2,000 people live in the community. The animals are known to inflict a scary bite as well, with venom that can cause severe, long-lasting intestinal problems. While it sounds like something from a horror movie, experts say the story was overblown. The spiders were thought to live deep within a wood plane close to the town. In fact, that area is said to contain the highest concentration of tarantulas in the world. But it's still unknown why so many of them are found in such a small area. 
Wildlife biologists say they're diving spiders which can breathe underwater by covering their body with air bubbles. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.